media.net today we are reviewing uh, a, a detective uh, redemption that is a book that was released in uh, 2000 uh, I believe 2021 yes 2021 a story about someone who overcame adversity to turn their life around is always an inspiration personally it is even more so when it involves a police officer. So when I first heard about a detective redemption in a Facebook public safety group in late 2021, I did not wait too long to order it, but I became quickly disappointed going through the pages here. Very disappointed. I initially reviewed this book in early January of last year, 2022. To be clear, this book was motivational enough. Its author, his name is Detective Omar Hernandez, he had a good story to tell. I admired his life story and his impressive comeback from his various ordeals he described, often crediting his Christian faith. Detective Hernandez, however, does not reveal in the book the police agency he currently works for. And that's fine. Sometimes we uh, don't want to reveal who we work for, which again I understand. Uh, but when he says it's also for the reader's safety, I was quite confused as I didn't understand. Interestingly, after I had finished reading the book last year, I found out, thanks to Google, where he worked at uh, and who he worked for, the agency he worked for. It took me about two minutes to find out find out that information. So. I was saying that I was pretty disappointed with the book despite Detective Hernandez having a good story to tell. This book's biggest issue are the grammatical errors. Almost every page. Typographical errors. Um, that infest most of his pages. By the time I counted about 70 of them, I had given up and I stopped tracking, basically. What started as an anticipated good read quickly became borderline annoying, I would say. More than 70 grammar mistakes are simply, in my opinion anyways, unacceptable for a book that is only about 195 pages long. Clearly, the author didn't bother having the book proofread. You can self-publish without a publishing company to help you, but come on, you should have your work proofread. There are professionals out there that can do that for self-publishers. Detective Hernandez, nonetheless, makes several interesting true facts and good points, all related to his experience. However, this book, A Detective Redemption, does not do justice to other independently published works. As I have stated in the written review for BluRedMedia.net, if Detective Hernandez has plans for a sequel, he should first take an English 101 class. I don't mean it as an insult, by no means, not at all. I just think that it's just unacceptable uh, for this amount of error in this book. I gave it a two star on Amazon, unfortunately. All right. That's it for this review. Thanks for watching. You can read more about my review about this book and other public safety books on bluredmedia.net. Click the subscribe button. I appreciate your support. I'll see you next time.